Hey guys, welcome back to another outside the box video. These are where I like to push myself outside my comfort zone. And today I wanted to do something with black eyeshadow. And I used to wear black eyeshadow all the time when I was in my teens. I've not been a teenager for quite some time. But yeah, I used to wear like really dark smoky eyeshadow. I was kind of like an emo slash goth kid. And as I got older, I kind of realized black eyeshadow doesn't look that great on me. I can't really wear it all that often. And so I've kind of stayed away from it, but I kind of want to try it again, maybe in smaller doses, but I kind of want to see what I can do with it. And so I thought I would try it with this palette here. This is the Maybelline the Nudes palette that my friend gave me for Christmas last year. The reason why I want to try it with this palette in particular is because I feel like the color layout is not very daunting. There are a lot of different shades in here that I look at and they kind of just go together really well. And it does have this it does have this black in the corner here surrounded by some cool tones. And I feel like I can look at this and think, yeah, I can approach it. I can add the black, but I don't think it's going to be that scary. I think I can work with it. So let's see what we can come up with. I already have my eyes primed and set. And since I want to focus more on cool toned shades, I am going to focus mainly on this last quad over here. So I'm going to take this shade right here and put that in my crease to start. I use this palette a lot when I want to do a really quick eye look because it's really good for that. And I don't have to really worry too much about placement or blending. It just kind of works really well. And when I want to just do something really simple and quick, get out the door and go. This is a really good neutral, neutral to cool palette for that. Because there are some days where I don't want to worry about doing anything too complicated. Sometimes I like my over-the-top complicated looks. But then there are some days where, say, I'm just heading out to a physiotherapy appointment or something. And I don't really care about doing anything too colorful or quirky. And I just need my eyes to look put together. And this is a really good palette for that. I'm going to take some of that shade on the outer corner. So the goal here for me is going to be building up a gradient, working up to the black so that it's not super intense but we will add the black. I just want to have something for the black to blend into so that it isn't so boom right there. I'm going to take this brush that was one of my dollar store finds and I'm going to take this color at the top right I'm going to start blending that into the other shade we have laid down. Whoa, that is dark. <laughs> Whoa. Oh boy. When you go into something and don't expect it to be that pigmented. <laughs> when in doubt, blend out. That's what I tell myself. <laughs> clean brush. I clean it off on my color switch in between uses. I'm going to be investing in some new blending brushes because I think that'll help a lot. That's one thing I'm kind of missing is more blending brushes. 
think that would help with my skill level a lot. Now for the black shade down here, I'm going to use a shader brush because I want to make the application a bit more precise. So I'm just putting that in the outer corner. right up into that crease line but not taking it all the way through I think I'm going to take it part way and then again using that clean brush to blend it through Black can be a harder shade to blend. That's why you need to spend time blending the darker you go. And you notice I'm holding the brush between just a couple of fingers instead of all my fingers to apply less pressure. That's just something I picked up. Little chipmunk just ran by. <laughs> He's my friend. I'm just taking some of the first shade I used and running that back and forth overwards over the crease again. So on this inner portion of the lid, I'm going to take this little cream shadow by Elf. This is one of their long-lasting super lustrous eyeshadows I think they're called in confetti I'm just going to take some of this top shade here, kind of pat that on top. And use that shade on its own in the inner corner and under my brow bone. I'm going to take a little bit of the black underneath my lash line here. And I'll just finish up the eyes off camera with a little bit of eyeliner and mascara. So I drew kind of a double wing and put on a few coats of mascara. And now I'm just going to put on a very neutral blush and lip combo. I feel like with dark eyes, I always want to veer more towards neutralizing lips.
then there's my eye look using black eyeshadow, which I have not done in a very long time. I hope it looks good. I think it looks okay. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!